What scent should I wear for work? Hey fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today we're doing another video in my basic series where we ask and answer all the basic questions about fragrance and cologne. Today we're gonna to ask and answer the question, what are work scents? So my previous video in my basic series was a little bit more laid back and in that one we talked about what are casual scents and I kind of went over kind of what my general thoughts are on uh, occasions for scents, scents for occasions type of thing. I do believe that scents for certain occasions is the most appropriate way to wear a fragrance. You don't wear a tuxedo at the beach. You don't wear swimsuits to weddings. And I think it's the same thing with scent. You wanna wear the scent that is appropriate for that certain occasion according to your cultural standards. Of course, I live in America in a Southern state in the United States. So my cultural perception is gonna be maybe different than other people around the world, maybe even different than some people in the United States itself. So take that for what it will, but just understand the culture that you come from. With casual scents, there's not really many rules on what dictate what you can wear in a casual situation uh, for clothing and also what you can wear in casual situations for fragrances. So anything goes in a casual situation. Generally, when I classify a casual scent, I usually mean something that usually works best in a casual situation, meaning it has little application in work or formal or date situations. And scents that usually make me just feel comfortable, maybe they're really relaxing, maybe they're fresh, that sort of thing. All right, so let's talk about work scents. So I think there are two main rules when it comes to work scents. The first one is don't wear anything too loud. The second one is don't wear anything too daring. Now, even with a loud scent, you can actually wear just a little bit of that scent and it will be okay. But you want to be mindful of how many sprays that you're spraying and how loud the fragrance is if you want to wear something that is normally loud. A lot of times in an office setting, you may get complaints from other people who don't like how loud your fragrance is. So just be mindful of other people whenever you're wearing a fragrance. There are some professions and some offices, workplaces that actually have rules against you wearing a fragrance. So you have to take that in mind. Um, if you want to wear a fragrance in that situation, you either have to wear it a really, really light amount or wear something that doesn't smell like a fragrance at all. So three that come to mind immediately for that situation, Mugler Cologne, Prada Amber, Prada Infusion Dome. Those are three great, great, just clean, fresh scents. And they happen to be just great work scents in general for any profession. But if you need three that don't smell like colognes, those are three good ones. Now, when it comes to how daring a fragrance is, inoffensive is key for work scents. Now, you can break out of that box a little bit. There are some scents here that I think kind of break out, but you wanna keep it in the professional realm. So for the first scent that I'll recommend here is one that I recommend all the time. It's Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. This is a really great scent, I think, uh, especially in the workplace. Um, it's not too loud, but it stays on for a long time. It's an eau de parfum, this one is anyway, though it comes in eau de toilette. It's fresh and inoffensive. It has some citruses in there. It has vetiver, which vetiver can be um, a little bit adventurous and daring in some fragrances, but it's very tame in this one. Overall, it's a very sophisticated, refined, fresh scent that I think works great, especially in a suit um, and really good in office settings and just any workplace. And of course, I have a full review up here if you wanna go watch it. Next on my list is a niche fragrance um, that I really, really love, and I've really come to admire this more and more recently, and that one is Koenig by Yosh. This one is a leather-based fragrance, and it has some fresher elements, like it has some apple in there, and there's some vetiver in there as well. But overall, it comes across as just this really nice, smooth, fresh leather scent. Um, this is a great scent, again, for office settings, because for one, it smells really pleasant. Um, despite the fact that it can be in the heavier realm, um, the leather smell is great. It's not too loud, and it works great in a few different seasons. This is also great in a formal type of situation, which we'll get to that in another video. So there's a little bit of overlap there, and you can use this in a couple of different ways. Now, sometimes when you're in an office setting, you want to break the rule of something that is inoffensive, and you want to be maybe a little bit assertive. Uh, maybe you have a presentation that you have to make. Maybe you have an important meeting that you want to make an impression on someone. So for that, you really want a power scent. And power scents really came uh, in vogue in the 80s when they had just really dense and powerful fragrances. And a lot of them found their way into office settings. 
And believe it or not, they still have a purpose there. And I actually do think that Koenig could be used in that situation. But I have two here that are really, really great at that. The first one is a classic fragrance, and that is Terre d'Hermes by Hermes. Again, another vetiver fragrance, but it's also matched with uh, orange and uh, isoe super, which is kind of a woody, uh, cedary type of scent. And it also has a little bit of an earthy, flinty type of note in there as well. Overall, this comes across as a very powerful and assertive scent, but still likable. So if you need to make an important um, impression on someone, I would definitely suggest Terre d'Hermes in a work setting. Now, if you really want to go balls to the wall with <laughs> your power scent, uh, go with Fahrenheit by Dior. This came out in the 80s at the height of the power scent craze, and it's still just one of the best. It's a leather and violet base scent that has a little bit of a gasoline type of smell. Now this reminds me kind of of uh, my parents' generation. And if you really want to make an impression on them and uh, make a power play, Fahrenheit Dior is definitely one to try out. But be warned, um, this is in your face. So tread lightly. So to sum up, you want something light, you want something inoffensive most of the time. Unless you really want to make an impression, then you want to have a power scent. So I really recommend that if you're in an office setting and you're around a lot of people all the time, um, have two um, work scents that you can wear kind of regularly. You pull one out occasionally and you wear the other one kind of as your daily go-to. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a, a discounted price. I bought from them before and I really recommend them, so definitely go check them out. Most of the fragrances that I've mentioned, except for the niche one, um, are on Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon so you can save a little bit on your purchase there. So that's all I have for this episode. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, uh, feel free to email me down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. What's your favorite? office scent? What's your favorite work scent? Let me know down in the comments. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the way out. I'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast Made Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.